It's been a little while since we've reviewed one chapter of the Anthropocene Reviewed, and in truth, the reason isn't only different projects taking precedence. As I read Canada Geese, I was taken by the overall message of the chapter, but I could not find a response of my own or something I could meaningfully add to this chapter in a video format. Until the last few weeks, which on top of the last few years, which on top of the last half decade has brought home all the things I cannot control. In Canada Geese, Green describes them perfectly in the first paragraph. With a song like a dying balloon and a penchant for attacking humans, Humans, the Canada goose is hard to love, but then again, so are most of us. The overall point of the chapter, to my mind at least, is that the goose, wild and aggressive and uncontrolled in some aspects, represents the mostly uncontrollable reminder that for all the soccer practices we drive to, for all the lawns we mow, we are still humans living on Earth trying to control what sometimes cannot be controlled. The Canadian goose is a reminder that we cannot control everything as individuals, and that is something Green describes as perhaps his biggest fear, and I share that fear, but I also find functional optimism in fearing it. We are mostly aware of what we can and cannot do, the grand change we can inflict on the world to harm, maybe not all of it, but certainly our lasting experience on it, without all the answers on how to solve the problems we create. But the Canadian goose, as it struts and honks and terrorizes in its mostly harmless way, is an unpleasant, unkind, but ultimately manageable reminder that we are still humans. That despite my silly thoughts being uploaded to Twitter and shared across the entire world in seconds, we still need to figure out how to manageably enjoy the Earth. For all the communities and sources of hope and inspiration to be found on Line, we still have to find a way to balance our hatred of injustice so that it does not consume us in the process. We have to care about Elon Musk and also not care too much about Elon Musk. The Canadian Goose is a reminder that I cannot do much to stop these sources of chaos, but I can work with others to make it all a little more manageable. And from there, the idea of the Canadian Goose has not invited disorder into my life, but order in opposition to it. And that is a very serious thing to say about a goose, so for now I'll simply say, I cannot give the Canadian Goose a mere two stars. I give it two and a half. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Friday.